Are you looking for a technique to relax at the end of a hectic day so that you can fall asleep easily or to perhaps quiet your mind before meditation? I'm Shirley Archer and for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to introduce you to restorative yoga and one simple posture called supported firm pose that you can do even if you've never done any yoga or restorative yoga before. Restorative yoga is a style of yoga that uses postures you may have seen if you practice in uh, regularly, but they're modified in order to allow your body to completely relax. So we use blankets and bolsters, pillows if you have them and want them instead, whatever it is that you can uh, use to support your body so that you can let go of physical tension and quiet the mind and become aware of that deep well of inner peace that is within all of us. And we also offer affirmations that you can silently repeat to yourself if you choose that embrace the spirit of each posture and help you embody the energy a little bit more. So let's get to the props. First I demonstrate, so watch me, I'll do this really quickly. We have a blanket on top of our mat if we want to provide a little extra cushioning for the knees. You place a rectangular bolster on top of the mat and then a square folded blanket on top of the bolster. To enter the posture, you're going to start in a tabletop position. Inhale, and then as you exhale, lift the leg like a doggy uh, at a fire hydrant and straddle the bolster in a comfortable seated position. Now, if you have tight thighs, you may want to add one more folded blanket under the hips. And if you have tight ankles, you can roll up your blanket and rest your ankles right on top of that section where the hollow is. It's a little bit too high for me. Or you can use, right here I used a rolled bath mat. So that is an option if you don't have a yoga blanket. You're gonna rest your hands at the juncture of the hip and thigh and place a blanket here if you find that there's tension in the neck and shoulders as a result of your hands sliding down and you working to hold them. Remember, you always want to relax into the posture and let go of physical tension. We're gonna show um, how you can do this on the chair. Similar to being on the floor, you're going to sit with your knees parallel, uh, knees above your ankles and your thighs parallel to the ground. You'll see that this chair is a little high as many chairs often are, so I can place a blanket under my feet to elevate the knees and then I can place a, another a folded towel behind my back to give me support and I can rest my hands on my lap. Just like I did in the seated position, I can also put a blanket on my lap so that when I place my open palms up, I don't have to hold tension if they slide down. Okay, let's begin. Hi Cheyenne, how are you? Whenever I do yoga, my dog gets very excited about me being on the floor and she wants to participate. Okay, so we need you to move over ever so slightly. Thank you, sweetheart. So, Coming next to my bolster in the tabletop position, <laughs> inhaling and as I exhale, lifting the leg up, straddling your bolster, settling into your seat, lengthening your spine, placing the hands, palms up, if you need the towel under your ankles or rolling up your blanket, please do so. Pardon me, dog is slight distraction. You may close your eyes or 
uh, hold them open slightly. If you close your eyes, lift your gaze to the point between the eyebrows and draw your attention to your breath. Continue breathing. I'm going to change my position to face you. Notice the point at which you feel the breath most strongly. Perhaps that's at the nostrils. Perhaps it's at the shoulders and chest. Maybe it's in the belly. And just observe the breath. Now we will practice diaphragmatic breathing, also known as belly breathing. And if you've never experienced it before, I invite you to place hands on your belly. And with the inhalation, feel the gentle expansion of the belly. And with the exhalation, the relaxation. Inhaling. And always breathing at your own pace, whatever rhythm is right for you. And try breathing through the nose if possible, as the nose filters, warms, and moisturizes the breath. But if it's not possible, breathe through the mouth, whatever is right and good for you in this moment. Once you sense the diaphragmatic breath, you can remove the hands from the belly and place them back at the juncture of the hip and thigh with the palms open, chest wide, shoulders softened, chin level. Noticing the support beneath you, the stability of the earth. Allow your weight to sink down, sensing gravity, the fullness of your body, feeling grounded. Noticing a sense of strength from a strong, stable posture fully supported, fully present. And affirm silently to yourself, in stillness, I touch my inner strength. In stillness, I touch my inner strength. And if your eyes have been closed, gently opening your eyes, looking around, noticing the room, noticing the energy within, and whether you feel different from when you began. You can either continue to rest in this posture or if you want to exit, coming forward into the tabletop position, either on the palms or on the fists, lifting the leg, and then sitting next to your bolster in a comfortable seated position, whatever is most comfortable for you. You can also place a blanket underneath the hips to slightly elevate them, avoid any tension or tightness 
in the uh, hips and thighs. So thank you for joining me today in this experience of supported firm pose.